Hey there. Thought I'd try it with face rig this time. Uh, it may have some issues here and there, so if I'm doing weird squinting or my mouth freezes, that's why. But the audio files don't get many plays, so maybe a vlog would be better. So, here we are wrapping up the first half of 2020, and ooh boy. I don't think you need to tell me you need me to try to recap the situation going on as I write and record this, and it's changing with every minute. All I will say is that I am political. I will not shut up and stick to games, smut, etc. And Black Lives Matter. I go into things more on my personal Twitter, but even then I'm trying to not make this about me, about, but about the people being hurt and betrayed by our system. Uh, I've been pretty quiet on the streaming front since Monday, even before all this really picked up. I can't go into too many details. Uh, we were doing a wellness check on a friend, and ultimately their sibling who lives out of state had to get, give the EMTs permission to enter through a window. They came back out pretty quickly. We found out the friend was telling people they were okay, but hiding and not treating some serious medical conditions. Not C-19. We spent the rest of this week helping the family empty out the house, and there's been a bunch of stockpiled supplies getting donated to some shelters, which she would have wanted. She was a terrific woman, and I wish she would have reached out more for help when she needed it. Take that as a lesson, anybody hearing or reading this. I'll steer away from personal stuff at this moment, so we can talk about projects. Ruland Tower has seen some big changes this week. I've decided to get at least move-in day as a solid launch target, sort of like early access, and then see how the reaction is. This lets me keep the scope manageable and moves toward a shorter release schedule. That's not to say the planned four days are off the table. I've already done planning and padding into the code variables, etc. for them. But since the scope of this project exploded, move in day is closer to the game I first had in mind anyway. The game now has a critical path implemented. You can play the plot from start to finish, complete with two endings. All the NPCs also have standard dialogue implemented, although it is subject to change. I'm hoping to give each apartment a quirk. So far, Marianne's has an archery test, and the Tail 7 have a best horsey question if you talk to all of them. Rogue is played to have a stealing minigame akin to the Link's Awakening shop. I can't guarantee they'll all be robust, but I'm hoping to make it worthwhile to visit each one. Each character also uh, has a, tracks an affinity that reflects how much they like or dislike you. For example, stealing, with, stealing from Rogue will actually impress her, but you'll lose favor with Caramel since she's building security. Jubbly, out back, will be extra impressed if you go greet her when she knows that it was a long walk for you since you don't have a back door key yet. Marianne really likes it if you hit a bullseye, but appreciates it almost as much if you just try it and don't give up early. And the minigame is designed that if you wait around, it gets easier and easier to hit a set or shot anyway. I don't want there to be a skill ceiling on my silly, fun adventure visual novel. A lot of what remains, other than some scripting for first person sequences in the sauna and changing room, and any apartment quirks I decide on, are art assets and music. I can fudge the sprites, but I'm probably going to have to seek and pay for outside help to at least rough out the characters seen in detail. First person view. Music is also a tricky thing. I can do a little, but learning how to do decent music, let alone Game Boy music, in the middle of trying to develop a game, let 
let's just say I'm not Tobias Undertale Foxington III. I've been using the royalty-free tracks provided by various GP Studio resource sites and discords, which of course are generously created by their creators, um, but I've also been running out of those rather quickly. So I'm still figuring out what to do about that. The suggestions and pointing towards GB musicians for hire are welcome. I've tweaked the patron page to update it for the recent focus on Roulette Tower and explain things a bit better. I've also had to update all the tiers to comply with Patreon's new rules on the sales tax. Because I don't offer physical goods, or even anything that has a monetary cost, I don't think it'll affect pledges, but best you know just in case they jump up a dime or two. And that'll wrap up May for now. The end of the month snuck up on me, I can't imagine why, so I wanted to get this out. It is my hope that during June I'll get most of Patreon, uh, excuse me, most of Roland Tower mid moving day, solidly in place, maybe needing an art pass. As always, I appreciate the support of my friends, patrons, and stars, like So Fox, Jessica Bumpus, Matt Shock, A Kitty, and Jeffrey Perigo. Thank you all and stay safe out there.